I wanted to let Enlightenment authors speak in their own voices as much as possible. And in some ways, the book is a kind of mosaic of quotations from a number of well-known, sometimes less well-known figures. It comes naturally to think of the Enlightenment as a philosophical movement, but I want to present the Enlightenment also as a change in outlook, in sensibility, in mentality, if you like. And so the first chapter is quite a lot about um, the Enlightenment as a way of um, guiding people towards happiness and freeing people from fear. I tend to be suspicious of, of orthodox opinions. As soon as they, they acquire taken for granted status, I start to question them. The idea that the Enlightenment was, was anti-religious is, at the very least, f far too simple. A figure like Hume, one of my favorite authors, is in that respect something of an, of an outlier. His dialogues of natural re religion, which make a very incisive case for skepticism, aren't representative of the mainstream of Enlightenment thought. In contrast to, say, Voltaire and Diderot, the majority of thinkers who we can call Enlightenment wanted a rational religion, inclined towards deism, the belief that God existed, but didn't, didn't intervene, intervene in human life. Voltaire, for example, is now thought to be a deist. That has immense consequences for the understanding of Christianity. It does away with the idea of the incarnation, which in any case is very dubiously founded in the New Testament.